Okay, today I'm going to go over the difference between direct selection tool, selection tool, and how that relates to anchor points and paths between the anchor points. A illustration program that deals mostly with vector files. So that just means instead of being a raster image where you have blocks of pixels, so if you zoom in closely to a photo in Photoshop, for example, or stretch it out, resize it, it's going to eventually pixelate and you'll see those pixels, you know. So if you look at it at 100% it shouldn't pixelate, but if you zoom in it's always going to pixelate because you can see those pixels. Now while vector art and illustrations are displayed on the screen on pixels, uh, they don't consist of pixels in the same sense. Uh, they consist of basically points, anchor points, and paths between those points. And then you have fills, you can have gradients, you can have solid colors. Um, like this illustration did a couple years ago, um, I have up just to show you the difference. All right, so the selection tool is the black arrow on the top of the toolbar. If I just click the shape here that I've drawn, I can resize the overall shape by clicking and dragging the side bounding box, the corner or the top. I can also move it around. All right, and if I click right on the edge there on that path, I'm still going to select the entire shape. Now, if you choose the direct selection tool, the white arrow at the top of the toolbar. Then if you click right on that path, right, you can click and drag and see now I'm editing actually the path and moving just that path around, not the entire shape. Same thing with a point, an anchor point. I can move that around individually. Alright, so if I wanted to move this in a little bit, I would use the direct selection tool. I'd click right on the path and then move it in. Now one thing to consider is if you just click on here, on the inside, you can still move around that entire group with the white direct selection arrow. And if you try to click on the path right after you do that, you're still just going to move it around. So if that's the case, click off somewhere in the background and then click right on the edge there. And then you can move that path or that anchor point and edit that individually. All right. Now, if you have a shape, this other illustration I made um, a couple years ago, I believe, and you have something like this, this one shape here, moving it around with the selection tool. Now, again, use the white arrow, click the edge there. I'm going to zoom in so you can really see the detail here. All right, see this anchor point right here? You can also adjust the handles of it, which is really the angle at which that anchor point is curving there. All right, so you can adjust that with the direct selection, or you can adjust the location of the anchor point. So either the location or the angle of that location of the anchor point which is with the handle there. And of course you can move the path as well. All right. So how does that relate to adding points and subtracting points? Well a lot of times when you use say the pen tool you click and drag, click and drag, click and drag and you have a shape here right there whenever I clicked and let go I created four anchor points at the four corners there so I move this around and you can see it right here again I'm just moving the anchor point location or with the handle I'm moving the angle of it alright now let's say you wanted a different angle right here well if you click the path all you can really do is move how that path is situated between the two anchor points. Let's say you wanted to add an anchor point there in between it. What would you do is go to the pen tool, click and hold on to the pen tool, and go to the add anchor point, and click right on the path there. And I'm going to add another one over here, another one over here. So now we have eight total anchor points instead of just four. All right. So the direct selection. If I move this out, now I have yet another anchor point I can use to adjust the edges. 
either the angle of the edges or the location of the edges. Um, and you can add a bunch if you wanted, a bunch of paths, but you want to have as few as possible. Um, if it has the same curve just with two, just use two for simplicity's sake. Now if you really do need to move that out like that, then you need to go ahead and add an anchor point in there. Now another thing you can do is subtract anchor points. If you click and hold on the pen tool go to delete anchor point, for example, let's say I had a star here. All right. And I wanted to get rid of just this anchor point here. What you would do is you would click right on the anchor and then it gets rid of it. All right. It's going to get rid of those anchor points so you only have specific ones. So if you were looking for a shape and you really like the bottom part of a star and you can rotate it over here for say a logo um, you could do the same thing with the star if you click and drag and press the up arrow you have a starburst like this say you're creating for an advertisement but you don't want that many so you can click on the anchor points there for a specific look in the design of the advertisement okay so you can do that with any time you have a vector art illustration with points and paths in between either adding subtracting anchor points and also selecting them and moving the anchor points the paths in between as well as the angle of those anchors um, as well using the direct selection tool thank you